Wrestling Locker Room. Hello, wrestling fans, and welcome to the Pro Wrestling Locker Room. I'm your host, Big Bubba Luscious. Alongside me, MCWA Commissioner Johnny Bad Wheels, making here. his return. You know, I went from one goon co-host to another goon co-host. You went from one... I don't know how I come my co You went from a goon co-host yeah. to the best co-host you could have found. Congratulations on having me back. Right. The best co-host I've had on this show so far has been You're Mud Puppet Joel. A guy with personality. You should take pointers. Yeah, exactly. You said it. And my guest tonight is a man that I feel last time he was on the PWL, he didn't really get his, he didn't really get room to talk because that big goon who thinks he's Hulk Hogan, Whipamania, kept running his mouth every time this guy uh, words of wisdom. He couldn't even speak because of the big Whipamania running his mouth. Whipamania runs wild. Uneducated abonics vocabulary. That's right. Mr. Alex Raphael. Oh boy. There we go. Now this guy's got talent. Head of Human Resources at MPWA. <laughs> Probably going to be future head of Human Resources for MPW and MCWA. Or the next Virgil. Hey, what do you mean, Virgil? You want to respect this man. He's the future of independent wrestling. He's okay. a mastermind behind oh, this, this MPWA. Industry. We're in trouble. We're all in trouble. Wow. Well, in all inches of fairness. Yes. Okay. Which you know nothing about, clearly. What? Oh, I know a quite a lot about it. Yes. Anybody that's ever been to an MPWA show clearly knows you know nothing about fairness. Oh, wow. I so what makes you different. think that? Yeah. The footage. <laughs> tapes don't lie. Oh, wow. Oh, the tapes don't lie. The tapes don't lie. Okay. Okay, based upon that, on, on your accusation that you're making right here. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the truth that I'm telling you. I just want to let you know and let everybody out there know. What I do is best for business. Right. What you do is cheating the let fans the, out of the their hard-earned money. Let the man talk. You, he got cut off last time he was here. I want him to have cut off open time. mic because he deserves it. He doesn't. And what do you mean? You saw the tape. He doesn't understand what fairness exactly. is. Exactly. Because you, you said you saw I the know what fairness is. My fans know that I know what fairness is. I'd come to an MCWA show, it's all fair. Yeah, right. Look, mm-hmm. here's the deal. I don't okay. like Mark Joka. Mark Joka's been the MCWA champion for over two years. I think that's pretty fair. Well... Whatever. But anyways, this man right here. What do you mean you saw the footage? Don't you know footage can be doctored by Brian Shotwell? And I believe it has Brian been. Brian Shotwell is one of the most upstanding men in pro wrestling, wow. not just in Michigan, but worldwide. Brian Shotwell is, 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 there's no way that Brian Shotwell would ever need to doctor any footage. Well, speaking of Brian Shotwell, let me say that Brian Shotwell was invited to the show personally by myself to debate this man. And as you can see, this man is here, but Brian Shotwell is nowhere to be found. So we can chalk Brian that. Shotwell's yeah, probably got better things to do than being this guy's presence. Oh, better things to do. We can chalk it up to being a coward, maybe. No, I would maybe think so. He's afraid to face this man. I know all about what it's like to have to run a company, so no. I, I know how busy Brian Shotwell has to be. So Brian, wherever you're at, well, keep doing what you do, man. Keep making MPW. Now right. this is one of my personal favorites. Why he's probably not here? He's afraid to face this man one on one outside of. MPWA afraid because he's afraid that what could happen physically to himself. Afraid to face Virgil? No. Hey, <laughs> afraid Virgil. Virgil right? <laughs> this guy's more power than you know. Does Virgil it? was a lackey. Does this guy's not a lackey by any means. And for one thing, I don't trail behind nobody. Exactly. And just stand out the ring to sit up there to grab a leg or two. Or no, you just count the three a lot quicker than you should. You did that. Oh. <laughs> you just use oh, whole body wow. to do the same sheet. It's all good. It's all right. Bro. You do remember when this man was attacked by Tommy Titus, right? I remember that. It's Clayer's Day. Not doing nothing. Brutally assaulted by Tommy Titus. Uh, I'm sure that Tommy Titus had his reasons. <laughs> Tommy Titus wow. is another guy that is an upstanding citizen. He is he is the epitome of, of a superhero in the, in the wrestling business. Of so, a superhero? I will always continue to say Tommy ain't nothing but a bunch of muscles and no brains. <laughs> he ain't nothing but a walking genetic freak, is what I say. <laughs> Isn't Tommy Titus the MPWA heavyweight champion? It's a lot more than just the genetic. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I thought, yeah. too. Well... And, and isn't the MPW you know, one of the, most, presti- one of what, the you know, most prestigious belts in Michigan? Oh, yeah. I think so, oh, yeah. too. Oh, yeah. So, so, yeah. So, you can't say that about Tommy Titus. Good job, though. Oh, hey. Wow. Well, like I say. Let him talk. We're not on the best of terms at this time. Right. 
But, but if I pay it's what the crowd wants. That's right. They love this man. Right. Even man. though he trying to be a Alex Raphael wannabe with the bald head and all. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, and you know. Right. He walks around. Oh, nice and uh, 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 all right. you know. He's a big shot. And here, me, not even a, comp a competitor or a trained wrestler, attacked me Thanks. for no given reason. Right. Because did I did my job. Because you provoked that. Okay. No, he did his job, like he said. What kind of champion you know, attacks innocent individuals? <laughs> Brian, Shotwell, individual. Brian Shotwell backs this individual. This guy is champion, far from I don't get it. This guy is far from an innocent. Come on, dude. <laughs> this guy can't even can't, can't even show his eyes in public. He's got. His, he's got this hide. man's always hiding. hiding. Look at his sunglasses. Oh. He's got. He's constantly hiding. Hey, this, this, guy's man, got, this guy isn't good. Hey, this man's only crime <laughs> is being a man of justice and a man of fairness, and that's his only crime. And if this that's guy, a crime, this guy, this guy that's a crime, arrest him now. This guy won't even let you look him in the, in the eye, literally. Come on, are you going to tell oh, me i got to trust this guy? Not a, not a chance. I do trust this Not guy. a chance. I do Take your glasses guy. off. I didn't I'm think so. I'm sorry, but I can't do I didn't that. Think, I didn't think so. I cannot do that. that. I didn't think so. Exactly. I didn't think so. No. All great men of power wear sunglasses. Okay. What are you talking about? Yeah, all cowards hide behind something. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Really? Yeah, the only coward is uh, Brian Shotwell, who's not in attendance, as I said. And, you know, you, they always say that if something intimidates you or worries you or kind of scares you, you try to keep it on the back burner so you don't have to deal with it. That's what he's trying to do with this man right here. He gives him a position in the company far away from him that he don't have to deal with him personally. That's what it is. He's yeah. the head ref. He doesn't have He's not. He's not far away from him. He's no. the head ref. This guy's got a major position in the company. What are you talking Brian about? Brian Shotwell is intimidated by this man. What are you That's talking about? This man's about. the head ref. Of Listen. No. Let me correct you. Yeah, correct him as well. X. Usual. Head ref. Right. X. Where you been? I have been relieved of my duty mm -hmm. as head ref. That's what I know. But based on the situation with Titus, with a few little lawyers <laughs> and a few little... More things to hide behind, like your sunglasses? Okay, hey. go for it. A few more things to give. What have you been given? They rehired me. You've been, what'd you oh, give there you go. As head of human resources. Yep, exactly. Brian, come We're on. very worthy. Which Brian, I, come on, man. I thought which my right. whole mission and my whole job is to let everybody know that this pl place, MPWA, is an unsafe work environment. <laughs> very. And that's good. It's like you don't have Fox 2 News down there and all that. With a I came down here to sit with this guy for a half hour. Unsafe like, working yes. conditions. Oh it is unsafe. A man tries to do his job, he gets attacked. Exactly. I agree with you. For I no reason. No. I even tried to apologize to the man. What did he do? Yeah. Slap my hand right. away. He slaps my hand away. He thinks he's better than everyone Next minute, as soon as I, t like I said before, in, in, at the last, at my last time here, as soon as I turn my head, wham, yep. I get speared. And, of course, Whipamania agreed with him that he was that he was in the right by doing it. Yeah. I love Whipamania. There's too exactly many haters out him. there. Too many haters. See, if it was up to me, there wouldn't be no Whipamania. Yeah, good. Good. I, I like that. I See, can say that. only thing... Know. That's got Whippermania there. It's Brian Shopwell. And the fans. <laughs> let's not forget. Let's Brian not, Shopwell. Let's not forget about the loyal MPWA fans that pack the Romanowski house every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, but sometimes the fans can be misjudgment. Mm -hmm. The fans are wrong. They can be at times. You're on television right now saying that the fans are wrong. They could be. They could be at times. Okay. All right, guys. Let's put it. So, I hope you guys way. hear this. I hope you we'll guys all way. Way. We'll put this way best. Some of the fans could be easily. Misled, persuaded. Yes. The fans have a right feel to feel other ways. They want to feel. You know, so there's ways of clouding the fans' judgment. Clouding the fans' Easy. judgment. Wow. Yep. And I even have, I even have a fan that goes out there that's, that's even well, saying, well, listen, that. listen, to, listen what the I even got saying. a fan say, Alex Raphael has all interests of unfairness. What? See, you see, See the mis misjudgment? Yep, there? exactly. And that's because Brian Shotwell and the other officials at MPWA have led the fans into believing something like that. When I know the truth, you know the truth. We have to get the truth out there. 
you're, you're that aligning, this guy you're is aligning with this, this guy, guy has the interest of fairness. You've got God. a horrible track record lately. First, you align yourself with Mark Joka and Jonathan Presley, and what now you're aligning yourself with this guy. But but you need to great businessman. What, what's been great businessman? What's been Jonathan going on Presley, with you? The last great businessman. Great businessman. What has man. been going on with you the past? I recognize years, talent. That's my problem. That's Jonathan my Presley, problem. Mark Joka, and Alex Raphael at talent. Yeah, very much. <laughs> Hey, just like I just asked. Hey, I even gonna ask you this question just as well as I asked the fans. Yeah, there you go. Aren't you glad to see me? No. Yep, I am. I'm not. You're not. Z equals ratings. Look, I have a rate every time I come down here. He paid me triple when I found out you were here. Oh wow. Oh, oh, really? I don't think so. Oh I really? I don't think so. In fact, just to I don't with you, I got triple. You know that this man, just mm. because he's busy, so busy, he turned down the mayor position in Detroit. He could have easily had it. He didn't uh, want it. Yeah, okay. I, Because he's... <laughs> I'm what? That, yeah, exactly. He's what? This you do know he has a team of lawyers, like he said. So he, what is he? Yeah, why don't you tell us? Yeah, what, so we can have it on a tape. He might be this much better, this much better than Kwame Kilpatrick. Whoa, That's, man. No, wow. Come wow, on. How can you whoa, even classify whoa, him whoa, in the whoa, same whoa, category whoa. as Kwame Kilpatrick? Kwame? How can I classify? Uh, have you seen the things this man has done? I think I've done a great I job. Think so. I think you've done a horrible job. I think more people are turning their TVs on to MPWA because of this guy. That's what I think. And my opinion means a lot. Uh, your opinion doesn't mean a whole lot. But oh, it we'll does on this show. It does. it does. But, yes, this guy, he's like I said, he's the reason they turn over to MPWA. Watch it. He's the reason? Yes. No, you know what? Let me tell you who I think the reasons are. Go ahead. The Tommy Titus's are the reasons wow. are. The, the Whippamanias, they're the reasons that... It's the, the, it's all the it's you know Tommy Titus appeared on TMZ last night in footage he was a drunken brawl in a bar in Detroit he was out beating up innocent people he grabbed an old lady off the street started pounding her for no reason and that's the kind of guy you look up to Tommy Titus he's a drunk that's what he is and I said it. I broke the news here on the PWO he's a thug he's a bully so gotta, so he's he, a drunk and he beats up you know innocent what? people like this you guy know what? drunks. Drunks can change. <laughs> Shady crooks can. Wow. wow. Oh, I don't oh, like this. Really? Yeah, yeah. I know. Man. I'm getting sick of this guy's mouth over here. Are you, Mr. Raphael? Yes, I am. Because you're Put showing your disrespect to my guests. <laughs> Put your hands up. I'm but I do want to ask you a serious question, hands. Mr. Raphael, since you are <laughs> the head of Mr. Raphael. That's Come right. On. A you man really, of his stature deserves really? the respect to being called Mr. Yes. And I have a thing I'm you lack call called respect. Ref from now. See, exactly. Good thing hey, your you opinion ref. does not count hey, on this show. Hey, you ref. Oh, okay. But anyways, you are the head of human relations for <laughs> the MPWA. So right. yes. in your opinion, who would you say has the most promising future right now out of all the roster? In other words, who would you count hey, three for the quickest? I want you to shut up and let him answer this question, all right? In other words, who would you count three for the quickest? I'm sick of interrupting. And line your pockets. All right. And line my pockets, right. us. Who would I set my eyes on? Who would you yeah. let in the pocket? Hey, would you let him answer the freaking question? <laughs> let him answer the question. We'll see. Tommy Ties. He's good and all that, but oh, there you go. I've always, always, always had this favor for the righteous maker, Rick Baker. Mm, good choice. Which I, which I think <laughs> that I really, really truly out. feel that he deserves a re, his rematch. The righteous maker, Rick Baker. Yes. yes, he's a very talented individual, and I would love to have him on the show. Maybe we, Mr. Raphael, as a personal favorite of me, can arrange that sometime. It'd be great. Could you imagine because, Rick Baker and Alex Because I can Raphael definitely on? honestly say oh, that Rick great. Baker is the true face of MPWA. I would agree. Definitely. Very talented. His name speaks for itself. It does. Righteous. Yeah. Right. Which you know nothing about, but go on. <laughs> oh, come on. Right. This guy's very righteous. And I feel that th I feel that he needs his throne back. So once you well, still hope he gets it. Like you still anything else. And contrary to popular belief, this man right here does not align himself with the dynasty in any way. Just like you don't align yourself. There's rumors going around. Just like you don't align yourself right. with JP and hey, okay. That's right. 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 Exactly. There's rumors going around. I'm sure you've heard them that maybe yeah. the dynasty's got you in their back pocket, and it's strictly a rumor, of course. Yeah, that's all. That's all. It's basically it's just rumor Rumors. because a lot of people say that Johnny Bradford has to have your a vacations, lot of that wine, you know dying, right? Exactly. Well, there, there's a rumor going around that Bubba Luscious is entertaining. That's not true. Hey, shut up. So, anyways, 
Yes, like I said, you know, they, there is talk Johnny Bradford sending you to the Bahamas for vacations, giving you cars, mansions, whatever you want. There's talk of that. But I think it's just a rumor. There's truth of, of that, too. But does hey. anybody have any actual proof? Exactly. Of this? Right. Because to me, it's all I think it is, it's just hearsay. Mm hmm. Exactly. He does not align himself with one individual because he is fair. He doesn't play favoritism over one athlete over another. Correct? That's correct. So Tommy Titus versus Rick Baker, he doesn't have a favor in that. Uh, heck of a match that would be, though. Because you know this man will put behind him that Tommy Titus attacked him. He's not going to. He's not going to dwell on that. He's a fair guy. He forgives and fair forgets. Guy. He moves on, right? Forgive and forget. Fair guy told he's going to The fair one. That's right. You're the fair one, right? Exactly. He is. And you don't know nothing about fair. In all interests of fair. Exactly. Especially when money's involved. So this guy should be on the Supreme Court. Oh, God. He, he, oh, this company should this, have his own country, show. This, as, bad as, as bad in the hole as this country what? is right now, you want this guy on the Supreme Court? The country's Court? going down oh, the toilet. Canada. I'll tell you right now, this country's going down oh, the toilet Canada. because people like this do not have the, the positions oh, of power they should Canada. have. Would you, co would you, would you agree? All right. well, I would, would totally you? agree because... I, if I was running NPWA, it would be a lot of major changes. A lot. Yeah. Good a changes. Lot. Right. A lot of necessary changes. Because one one thing, I do give a lot of respect for Brian Shotwell. I will do that. I'll give for there the first go. time. Hey, do you just hear what I said? I agree with you. Okay, let him talk. Like one thing, talk. we don't always agree upon everything. Mm -hmm. But I feel... He's lacking. And I feel that he needs more guidance. Oh, boy. Here we go. Back to the screen. That's true. Yes, he needs more guidance. Oh, my God. And I feel if he just let put, put things under my control, right. I will bring this company to the max. There you go. And you know, that's another reason I don't think Shotwell's here because I think he's afraid that you are, you could make some good sense to him and make some points to him. And he's I just think Shotwell has better things to do than sit next to that guy. No, that's not true. And like I, said, I think Brian Shotwell's afraid to sit here next to this guy because he's afraid this guy's going to make sense and he don't want to listen to him. That's the problem. Like I said, he's intimidated. No, he's he's scared. scared. Please, this guy? Yes. This guy? Yeah. I'm more. Hey, when you got a guy, I'm more intimidated. Company. I am more intimidated of the Ultimate Warrior than I am him. Hey, right listen. Now. When you got a guy, <laughs> hey, when you got a guy working for your company, and you know that guy has brains, knowledge, talent, charisma, power. When you got a guy working for you like that, you're afraid that he's always going to take over one day. One day you're not going to be in charge, and that's exactly what Brian Shotwell is afraid of. Hey, this guy is going to take over. Are you delusional? I, I speak the truth. I like this guy. I speak the truth. That's something you don't know nothing about. Are you delusional? But anyways, we got to get to a match here on the PWL featuring the MPW Tag Team Champions, the Mur Murder City Saints taking on a pair of jacks. That's a great match. Yes. Oh, yes, it is. So, here we are. And two other outstanding fair and Orlando Christopher. The Murder City Saints taking on a man named Jack Thrill and Jack Thrill. Jack Thrill is a good one. Yeah, now at MPWA, it was Jack Thrill versus Orlando Christopher in single action. At the MPWA. I mean, oh, I'm sorry. At the MPWA. Sorry about that. Wrong again. So at, at the MPWA, and Orlando Christopher first shafted because it wasn't at Metro Pro Show. It was at MPWA. MCW. Oh, MCW, my bad again. Just getting the cheap plugs out there for the MPW. But anyways, like I said, these are for the MPW Tag Team Championship. Not the MPW, not the MCW, but the MPW. A lot of letters still around. Right? Anyways, like a lot of food like you used to. Hey, now Jack Reville and Jack Thriller, two very, very talented individuals. And Mr. Raphael, I don't know, maybe watching this match, you might be able to scout some talent here and... Bring them on over. Well, from, you know, from the past when I was when doing the days of my rep, and I have right. worked with all uh, Matt. Yes. I have worked with him. And he's like, he, he would be very good, I think, in, in working for you. He's very ruthless. He gets a job done. He don't take any BS. And he definitely he gets in there and takes care of business. Oh, definitely. Just like you. Takes care of business. Exactly right. 
you know, in Orlando, oh, Christopher, geez. definitely no slouch. He's no, he's no slouch. He's great. And also the third member of the Murder City Saints, Caleb Stills, of course. Who had the most fun, by the way. Well deserved. Yes. Well and there's Jack Thriller. Try it now. Corky Robinson, I'm a fellow referee, Mr. Raphael. I would never put Corky in, in the... In the uh, in the status of, of that's of this right guy. exactly Corky is way above this Corky guy. is do that low to, class don't do that to Corky because Corky's low don't class don't do that to Corky Corky's low class don't put Corky in the same class as this oh, I want to be right here oh could you stop with the Virgil comments remember the team of lawyers are all this present Virgil took money to get what he, what he needed so did this guy he's Virgil oh, wow come on the only so difference between so Virgil and Mr. Raphael is Virgil took money. He makes Mr. Raphael makes money. There's a difference. And I would love for him to show up at the MCWA one day and show you how to run a business. If if Mr. Raphael ever showed up at MCWA, my security would have him move what? off the premises oh, within a second. Are you serious? Wow. You couldn't, look, I wouldn't even let you pay to get in the building. Oh, wow. Come on. Well, I know if Mr. Raphael ever showed up to MPW, he would be shown to a front row seat with catered concessions all night. Would, would, uh, would Jonathan Presley be next to him? I just, oh, could you imagine that? The two masterminds together, Jonathan Presley and Alex Raphael together. What greatness could come out of that meeting? That's scary to even think. I wouldn't mind making Jonathan my assistant. There you go. See that? Sure. I don't think Jonathan would want, me, would want an assistant. I think Jonathan would want the eagle a little bit too. Uh, I don't yeah, think so. Yeah, I don't know. Johnson Press, of course, the manager of the MCWA heavyweight champion, Mark Joka. He is. Another man you're jealous of. Uh, jealous of Mark Joka? Yeah, very jealous. Oh, and you know Mark that you, makes me you know that if you had it, if you could and you would, you would have that man stripped of his title. You know what? I have the power you to tried strip it. Mark Joker. You tried it in the past. You tried I have to the power screw to that Mark man Joker. over. I don't need to screw Mark Joker because one of these days, Mark Joker's coming. Oh, wow. You've tried to screw Mark Joker in the past. I have We all know that. I have Good thing for MPW where he gets a fair shake. Only place. Let's get back to this match. This is some, some talent ring. This is some great talent. Austin Maddox in there with Jack Verville. Oh, Austin big Maddox kick in the big, face. Big, big, big leg drop right to the... You know, maybe, right uh, you know, uh, Maddox is like, high, could be easily higher for an enforcer bodyguard. Yeah. Beat you up, maybe. For you're, threatening me. You're, you're threatening me right now. I'm not threatening you. Threatening I'm just you. saying that, that there's you. many people out there that they are easily... Could be influenced by Mr. Raphael to do bodily harm to you. That keep running your mouth. There's a lot of people that are that I could be influenced you know, by me to make sure that Alex Raphael never shows his face in pro wrestling ever again. Wow, I don't think so. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't know. So. One day you could be going down a steep hill and it breaks on your wheelchair. Watch it. Bullets don't lie, by the way. Yeah, yeah. And here it is, Austin Max. Oh, no, no. Oh. Right Maddox is ruthless too. He he will not let up on you. Maddox won't let up on you. Maddox gets what he, he wants. Sticks to, he sticks to his opponents. Right oh through. yeah. He does. Oh wait a minute. Reversal one, one two and almost. Oh, almost caught him. You, you got there. Oh, oh big big close line. Look at that. Almost took his head. That's it. One. Two. Oh. Here it comes. Oh now see this one. Still talking about. Corky should have disqualified him for that. Coming in the ring. When you're in the room with Jack Reville, you got. There's a fair tag. You saw the tag. It was a fair tag. It was a fair tag. And, and Mr. Raphael, I want to go back to your referee days. We have to do that again. I, 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 hey. We have to do that again. Yes. As a referee, tag matches are very, very hard to officiate. Correct? That's correct. That, that is so correct because, you know, you got to try to, you know, keep your eye on all, all, whoever, yeah, you know. all that's, four of I'm bored here today. <laughs> I'm trying to get this man's perspective, professional perspective. No, but you got to you got to keep you got to keep your eye on our opponents. The so. last time I was here, I got to deal with Nate Madsen. I got to hear. If you don't let this guy finish a sentence, I'm going to beat you myself. Okay. I asked him a question, okay. and he said that the reason that about tag team matches, refereeing. Matches. Yeah, they can be difficult at times, especially when you know you got opponents on this end and this end, and you trying to focus on this one, and then somebody else trying to pull something else behind your back. Right. And then you, you, can, you know, I, I'm not a spider. I can't see all. You know, right, see everything. Exactly. And then you throw a manager into the mix, and 
Oh wow, we really they got problems. They really got problems. Especially if it's Jonathan Presley. That guy is very distracting officials. Very. Not that you would be distracted. Oh no. Corky, he's easily distracted. Well, that's why a lot of wrestlers you feel intimidated by me because I, I, I be, I be very wise. Right, you catch it all. Some things you might not catch because you don't want to catch. <laughs> Alex is real good at that. Just saying, just saying, just yeah, saying. You let me have my in on that one. Hey, just yeah, saying. You let me have hey. that one. Just let saying. me have that one. But that's good all right, shot, though. Good shot. That's all right, though. Because sometimes they deserve it, you know. Oh, he deserves it. Oh, look at that. That's a good word. Orlando Chris. Everybody's got a Oh, no. Exactly those. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. 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 That's very classic. And he has a real one thing I can say one thing about me, too, man. Hey, a ref, hey, if any wrestler try to push me, I'll push him back. That's right. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's that's offense. Offense. that's obvious. That's obvious. You can't, you can't. Aren't you, know, you supposed to be impartial because you're a referee? He is impartial. I didn't say he wasn't. <laughs> Tapes don't lie. There's no doctor. Like Brian Shotwell. Brian Shotwell is one of the greatest professional wrestling minds in the world. Oh, wouldn't be a while. I think Eugene's more. <laughs> Eugene might have a lot more friends than Brian Shotwell, but hey. Oh, I remember Eugene. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Eugene, yeah, there we go. Eugene's a great guy. Oh, wow. One, two, two, almost a three count there. You know, and I think Reviller, Reville and Thriller, they got the, the speed. It seems like Christopher and Max are more your mat technicians. They like to take it to you. But Reville and Thriller, they're the high flyers. They sure are. They're speedy. They got a lot of good new technical moves. Oh, oh, like that. Man, set them both up. Oh. And a lot of people, you know, as you watch a conclusion of the match here, they're, they're going to say that they might not have ended fairly, but we'll let everyone ending here. Great big DDT there. Oh, it was oh, weird by Maddox. And I know how those Now, see, feel. that's good teamwork That right does there. not feel good. That is good teamwork right there. Now, see that? I just had a flashback. Oh, oh man. See, so you see what time it has for this man here? Gives him nightmares and flashbacks. Oh, he's just like you didn't sue him. That's all. Oh, hey, not from the slip disc and the cracked ribs that I received exactly. from Dr. Wilson, huh? Oh, come on. It's very embarrassing for the MPW tag champs to be caught in that position. That was, a, that was a fake pull there. Yeah, yeah there you go. Oh. 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 Come on, now where's Porky though? See, that's what I mean. You got to put the end of this stuff in. Oh. Kick right in the side of the head. Oh, oh wow. That was a good move. <laughs> that was a good move. Now where's Corky at? Corky needs to get over there and get some action. Oh, wow, he missed it. Yeah, nobody was on one. Oh, oh my gosh. Super K. One, two, two and one. Oh, yeah, two. Save the Didn't you know that was a slow count? That, see, exactly, right. Corky, well, Corky's not, you know. You're questioning a slow count? A, no. Corky, Corky is not in the, the great physical condition of Mr. Raphael that you are, of course. He's yeah, but Corky's eyes, are, Corky's eyes are ten times better. He's a little more tall. I can see Corky. The, coach, see the concession stand is in view of him, so he's might be worried about what's cooking behind the grill. He's not watching the match. Don't worry about now, see, he's right here. He needs to take order right here. How many people are in the ring? There's four people. Oh, do you see that? I didn't see that. I think there's a pair. And then I didn't hear Jack Miller at this match. You got the electric chair going down. Oh, going down here. Yeah. That's got to be a hassle. Yeah. One, two, and three. Quirky, of course, did not probably see the low blow that took place. Yeah, it went to the rest of the back while waiting on that third count. Yeah, there you go. You so, anyways, Quirky, yeah. So, I'm quirky. we got to wrap it up here, anyways, for the PWL of this episode. So, for me, so for Johnny Bad Wheels, it's great to for be the back. greatest mind in independent wrestling, oh, Alex Raphael, we'll catch you next time.